The U.S. Preventative Services Task Force just recommended a reduction in screening mammography. In fact, they said that no women in their 40s should be screened. I disagree with that recommendation, um, mainly because I believe the group that evaluated the data really underestimated the benefits of screening mammography. We know that breast cancer mortality has begun to fall in the last 15 years or so. It's been dropping. And there actually have been studies of you know, what percent was due to screening mammography and what percent of the reduction in mortality was due to better treatments. And it's estimated that about half is due to screening and half is due to better treatments. <laughs> so I would worry that the mortality rate would start going back up if we stopped screening. Um, and, you know, of course, women in their 40s have the longest years of life ahead of them. So we would lose more women to breast cancer at an early age. The real um, calculation that the group made was how important the saved lives were re relative to the false positives. And I think most women, in fact, we've surveyed women, we've asked them what matters more, finding a cancer early enough to be saved or having a false positive. Women t will tell you that what matters more is to find the cancers. So the group that evaluated this, these data made a different decision, that fault, the number of false positives outweighed um, the benefit um, from, of saving people's lives. My advice to women is that they should talk to their doctors about their own health, that they should use their common sense. Um, I think every woman should ask herself, every woman in her 40s should ask herself, you know, if it's going to be horribly upsetting to me or not to have a screening mammogram that's abnormal, which matters more? Does it matter more to you to ha take a test that may save your life, or does it matter more to you to have a test that may be a false positive? The group who evaluated the data thought women would decide that false positives mattered more to them than the possibility of having their lives saved. And I think that's just the wrong answer myself, and I think most women would decide in a different way as well. Another recommendation of this group was that uh, women in their 50s and older could cut back on screening mammography to every two years. And there are actually a fair amount of data to support that. Um, and I would be supportive of that change to the guidelines for women. It may be better for women to wait to 55 or 60 to cut back on their, on their screening mammography. The reason for the ability to cut back is because breast cancer grows less quickly in older women. They tend to have lower grade tumors, slower growing tumors. and so. It makes sense. If you have a slower growing tumor, you can wait longer to find it. It's st it still will be in the less dangerous phase of its growth. Um, it's not clear to me, and I think it's not clear in the literature, uh, whether it's 50, 55, or 60. My point is that you can cut back at some point to less frequent screening. First, I think it's very important for women to understand that we know that we save lives through mammography and that um, mammography may not be the most comfortable test, it might not be the easiest test, but it does reduce your risk of dying of breast cancer if you will develop breast cancer. The second thing is that, you know, there are false positives and mammography is not perfect. Um, one of the reasons why I've been working on this my whole career is because women are still dying of breast cancer. There are 40,000 women a year in the U.S. who still die from breast cancer. So if you feel a lump, you need to go see a doctor. You shouldn't be, oh, I just had a normal mammogram, <laughs> and therefore I, it probably is nothing. You should go get checked. Um, mammography is not perfect. In addition, uh, if you have an abnormal mammogram, there's a high probability that you don't have cancer. The ratio is about 10 to 1 um, of women who have abnormal mammograms. 10 of them don't have cancer, and one has cancer. So. It's not, it doesn't mean you have cancer if you have an abnormal mammogram. It's not a perfect test, but it's the best thing we have right now for screening for breast cancer.